As we end today's show remembering Vincent Harding, the historian, author, and civil rights activist, he died Monday at the age of 82. He was a friend and speechwriter for Dr. Martin Luther King, and he wrote the draft for Dr. King's famous anti-war address, Beyond Vietnam. Speaking on Democracy Now! in 2008, Vincent Harding talked about the speech. There was a great deal of struggle within the community around Martin about the speech even more than about the speech, about what position King should take in relationship to what our country was doing in Vietnam and what our country seemed intending to do all over the world. But it's important to recognize that King saw these issues not simply as what we call foreign policy issues, King was most deeply a pastor, and King saw these issues in terms of what they were doing to the poorest, weakest, most vulnerable people in this country, as well as what they were doing to the poor of other countries, particularly in this case, Vietnam. So King did not see himself as separating his attention from this country and turning it overseas. King saw the natural connection between what was happening to the poor in the USA, why young men and women were rising up in anger, frustration, desperation, saw that action as deeply related to the attention that the country was paying to the devastation it was doing in Vietnam. And so King was actually trying to bring the country together to sense the relationship between its sickness at home to the sickness of its policy overseas. Vincent Harding, the historian, author, professor, and civil rights activist, died Monday at the age of 82 in Colorado. He was a friend and a speechwriter for Dr. Martin Luther King, and he wrote the draft for Dr. King's famous anti-war address that he gave at Riverside Church April 4, 1967. Um, Vince Harding was also professor emeritus of religion and social transformation at the Iliff School of Theology in Denver. We will link to all our broadcasts of interviews with Dr. Vince Harding.